My dears, to the extent that uh, these videos are supposed to uh, offer a portal, uh, a way into the, uh, the works that I've placed on the syllabus, I don't want to uh, 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 approach uh, John Keller's novel, Johnny Allen, in a way that excludes any of the portals that you opened for me just now. We had our Zoom meeting and uh, you said, uh, many of you said very interesting things which will be resonating in my mind uh, for some time. So, uh, because to me they are all uh, good uh, and appropriate and, and revealing, uh, I don't want to um, shut any of them down. In fact, I'd like them to be opened up further and hope that uh, in what you write about the book, you will pursue them um, at some length, if needs be, please. Uh, that would be my hope. Um, but uh, that's to say, I don't want to uh, uh, appear to contradict them in any way by uh, describing uh, what I find uh, in the book, particularly since, as you know, I believe that no one person's response to a work of art contradicts any any other, anybody else's. Um, if you see uh, strange and interesting shapes uh, in a painting that I've missed, uh, they're, they're clearly there. And maybe I will have noticed some strange and interesting shapes uh, that you didn't notice. And between us, we will have uh, increased the spectrum of what it is that we notice in, in a work of art. That's my hope. Um, and so I'm hoping that I will uh, experience that myself, a widening of the lens for me of my understanding of this book. Um, I've known it for a while and been through various stages of understanding of it as precisely what happens with, uh, with most books that you reread and was most forcibly struck this time when I read it again for this class um, by how much for me it seemed like music. Now, that may seem to be and perhaps is an evasion of the serious questions that many of you raised about the meaning of the relationships and of the story uh, in the book and very right that you should uh, um, raise those as your point of contact with it. And I'm not uh, uh, waiting in, in great hope for you to share my experience of the book. I, I really, um, I mean, it's, it's very nice when somebody else comes up with uh, a, a matching view, if you come out of the movie and you've, you know, both of you had the same experience of it. But at the same time, uh, it's much more interesting if you discover what the movie was that you missed, what aspects of it. Um, so what I uh, find in this book is something that um, rides over uh, the plot. And, and you may feel, and it's very uh, uh, proper and serious of you, that you can't just, you, you can't ride over a plot. That there's a question of do you, what do you feel about the action of the central characters, their, their actions? Can you approve of them? Can, can you not approve of them? Um, and those are entirely proper questions. However, um, for me, this book uh, asks of you that you um, let the, the potential for moralizing about the character's behavior um, sink beneath uh, the waves of its acceptance as a book of the varieties of behavior and uh, the dance of destiny. I, I fully accept um, the, the thoughts of anyone who uh, is not unduly impressed uh, by that <laughs> way of reading it. Um, but reading the book this time, I felt more strongly than ever that uh, it has no more connection or, or it, it makes no more claim on us uh, with regard to uh, how much we like the characters and their behavior than does a piece of music. 
Um, and I think it would be perfectly possible to say that uh, music evades uh, moral questions and uh, moral issues uh, and presents us with uh, pleasure and grief uh, and drama of various kinds, but without uh, considering specific choices that are made by individuals because they don't happen in music. They do happen in this book, and uh, I'm still thinking about the things that uh, you said to me about the marriage of the two of the main characters, uh, Alan and Amelia, uh, which uh, I, I feel feasts on uh, a pleasure in the, uh, uh, the peculiarities of, of people that, that until uh, that, that the openness of that pleasure comes f unthinkingly to include uh, a dalliance uh, with another person, um, that works fine. And then when that dalliance occurs, then uh, everyone is bounced off uh, the walls as if on a pool table or on a blackboard where subatomic particles uh, are brought to rest, bounce off in different directions, in new directions uh, in their life, as occurs in, in life. But that doesn't, of course, mean that you shouldn't be thinking about the responsibility uh, involved in, uh, uh, in cheating um, or in uh, 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 going from affair to affair and amour to amour even before marriage as in the life of Johnny Allen who uh, falls in love all the time and uh, doesn't appear to, uh, to cause too much damage to himself or his partners but it's he that he is he is uh, 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 if, if not promiscuous he's constantly in love and it comes and goes and it finds uh, its own uh, relatively peaceful ending at least in, in, in this book it does and if, if you're inclined to wonder whether that's a little glib uh, a little easy uh, and uh, one of you picked up uh, the word breezy uh, which I think I'd thrown uh, into the game, um, and it is there is there is a, a, an easiness and a breeziness about this book, which I feel could perfectly well be understood uh, to be a glossing over, all too easily, uh, of the complications of life, which again, as one of you pointed out, uh, the survival of a relationship doesn't depend on um, unyielding. Uh, loyalty and faithfulness. It's quite possible to include excursions, uh, amorous uh, uh, sidebars, uh, but the essential part of that is communication, that you stay in communication and you understand each other's needs. Um, that sounds excellent to me and uh, it sounds... Um, uh, I, I'm trying not to say very grown up, but that's actually how it sounds to me. Now, one of the problems, and here perhaps uh, art and literature are forever children rather than grown-ups, is you, you can't, uh, were you to present um, in a book or in a play a uh, successful uh, marriage based on uh, um, uh, tolerance, tolerance of each other's uh, interest in, in, in these sidebars, in, in in an amour, um, uh, based on on communication, on understanding uh, who you are, that to present that world, that life, uh, that life of a, a successful marriage, uh, compounded of uh, respect for each other and respect for each other's needs to have adventures, that wonderful uh, conceit, uh, and God bless it, because it sounds like. Um, a, a wonderful life and the way perhaps life should always be um, uh, offers to me everything except a plot. Uh, books, films, plays and so on are um, obliged to investigate the obstacles to happiness. Uh, happiness itself, although it's 
the aim of, is it, of everyone and uh, all interesting characters in books um, doesn't supply a book uh, with, a, with a plot. Um, and one of the things that uh, is, is problematic about storytelling is that things have to go awry, even the best laid plans. And when we see them go awry, um, we understand and recognize, and this doesn't mean that they can't end up uh, reconciled uh, to each other, the people who may run onto the rocks, but onto the rocks they must run. And that uh, does happen in this book. Um, still, for me, in reading the book, it's not the rocks onto which they eventually run that dominates. It's an extraordinary montage vision of uh, a light-hearted life in the city um, and stretching out into uh, many things that don't belong to the city, like the question of uh, going home uh, to one's distant tropical uh, home and family, the family, the home of one's forebears, whether to stay, uh, what, what would keep you uh, in New York as opposed to going somewhere else. And although the matter is not uh, discussed seriously and and, and profoundly, it nonetheless dances along with the characters and their dreams of, of being elsewhere. Uh, for me, the book is like um, a piece of music that starts with a motif uh, that takes the music to its own destination. And I feel it dances me along through the different characters, uh, through their different adventures, and it's able uh, in a mysterious and, for me, absolutely magical way to sustain its tone and its its delight in life. Uh, it seems to me, and, and, uh, I can think of French movies <laughs> that do the same thing and that insist um, that ultimately all is well, hearts break and are mended and the dance revives. And that is... Uh, one of the distinctive characteristics of this book for me is its enduring hope. And you may feel that that's easily won, too easily won. Hope is always easily won in a book. You just say as the author, well, and then it all worked out and they were happy again. Um, and whether you're convinced by this, whether it reminds you of a truth to be sought, a truth that you have experienced or hope to experience, or whether it strikes you as being an easy way out uh, of the, the problems of making life work is entirely up to you. Um, for me, it's a book with magic, but uh, I totally understand uh, those of you who can only connect part of the way with it, and I'm longing to hear about that in greater detail. And, uh, and I thank you for having uh, taken a long, hard look at it. Um, so this is, I'm going to cut this a little short, a minute short, and uh, hope that uh, uh, out of the experience of reading the book, you've come with uh, some uh, some things that are delicious, uh, which I, I, I very strongly feel is there. For me, this is one of the most delicious uh, books uh, ever written. Um, so enjoy as you can and where you can, and I look forward uh, very much to your response to uh, next week's book, uh, which is different in tone and in weight. Uh, so thank you, my dears. And once more, please be very careful with your life. Till next week. Bye.